gosh, congratulations on this film. It's a, uh, it's it's sexy. It's fun. It's uh, it's an edge of your seat kind of thriller, and it's psychologically nuts. So there you go. Oh my gosh, Tony, you're writing all of our reviews. I am. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my review would be: It's great for foster kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you also see Instant Family? Is that is that what's happening here? No, it's in color. Uh, I'll tell you, I had so much fun watching this, and you guys are. Uh, I'll start with Britt. Was there instant chemistry? Uh, you know, in, in this, or or did you have to work at it a little bit? Well, Michael and I have been friends for a decade, so this was really born out of our friendship. Michael had been producing, he'd been working in development for um, a pretty big company, but when we met, we were just brand spanking new actors, him, you know, fresh off the train from New York, me, I had just road trip from Alabama, the whole Hollywood thing, and we're, we met in acting class, we're both busting it just to try to get represented or start auditioning, and then over time, I started coaching and teaching um, actors on set. And then he also started producing. So this was our attempt to do this outside of any system and see if we could make it. And you got to see the final product. So yeah, I would say a lot yeah. of our chemistry is in there. Yeah. Michael, uh, in doing a film like this, I mean, is there any consternation on your part at all? I mean, th this has to take a lot of trust as well to, to do something like this. I'll start with, I have an acting crush on Britt Rentschler. I've always had an acting crush on Britt Rentschler from the oh, first time I saw her. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm I, like, I, yeah, I, obviously I just, I also, and to your point, um, I wanted to feature Britt Rentschler. I wanted to show the world what Britt Rentschler was capable of. I think as actors, we often get boxed into this linear path of, um, all right, well, I'll be the cop who says the thing or I'll do the thing and then I'll be the guest star who does the other thing and then maybe I'll do this. And I just watched Brit and everyone in the cast, uh, you know, Graham, Our Alex, Charlotte, ensemble. Vanessa, everybody, everybody. I've watched all of them be so magnetic and so amazing and never actually get an opportunity to shine the way that they shine in this movie. Um, and I was... It was very, very purposeful on my part, uh, the way we cast this, where I was like, I want to give these people a platform to stand on and to run with because they deserve to be seen. Um, we, we picked a lottery ticket career. Um, there are so many talented actors you don't know. And I, the fact that, I don't know if we're going to do another movie. I hope we do. I really do. We've got a bunch of ideas. Uh, if you have financiers out there, let me know. But um, <laughs> we... Uh, we have an amazing stable of people and I just wanted to showcase those people. Uh, and, and you did such a great job in doing that. I think I, I, I'm with you. I think Britt, I could see you doing anything and you have great comic timing, which, which is rare. You have to learn that, but you have great comic timing. Thank you so much. This, <laughs> Tony, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> this is amazing. This is such a big, huge leap for all of us and we wanted to do it together and we wanted to bring up our friends and bring up each other and it's really hard to hear no most of the time and this whole process has been one big yes and it's really been remarkable see what i think is wonderful about the film as an audience as as watching it your exuberance in doing this film translated to me uh, as uh, just watching the film, I felt sucked in right away. It, it, it kind of, and I don't want to, you know, Michael, excuse me, but it starts out kind of like a Dockers commercial and then <laughs> all hell breaks loose. Uh huh. So you yeah. did a great, you did a great job of, of, of taking the audience on a ride. Tony, yeah. I'm going to be totally a uh, Tony, uh, Tony, 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 let's have this up. Uh, <laughs> I have phenomenal style in real life. I gained 20 pounds to do this movie because I wanted to feel relatable. I dress in a way that I don't normally dress. The running joke on set was that I was wearing the clothing that Alex usually wears. And Alex is wearing the clothing <laughs> that I usually wear. Alex, Alex plays Carrie and his first husband. Um, but yeah, that's what we were going, again, we were going for black and white, mm -hmm. Wizard of Oz, this sucks. Like, this is not going good. This is not going well. 
And then just like, what happens if you just drop these people into a fever dream? Mm -hmm. And um, I think, I, I th and thank you for what you just said about the cast, the ensembles uh, around just, everybody loved everybody on set. Like everybody loved everyone. Everyone played, everyone was, there was no ego. Our mantra kept being best idea wins. So like sometimes people said stuff that wasn't written and if it was better than what was written, we ran with it because it was better Absolutely. than what was written. We just wanted to give everyone the opportunity to tell this story. Which I think that, you know, that shows trust as, as a writer, trust as, you know, from the director. All of that plays into how, you know, you can have a you know, hundred million dollars and not have a film as much fun as this. Thanks, man. You know, because I understand that. Yes, that means a lot to us. We had a lot of restrictions that's part of indie filmmaking is you start with what you have, what you can beg, what you can borrow, what you can steal. Um, <laughs> that's really it. That's how it happens. Um, and then we just did as much as we could to make these outlandish situations, but still ground them in a sense of reality so that the audience feels like they're also going through it. You know, it's not so outlandish that it couldn't happen, but in our director of photography, Ali Bercato, I was looking at her shots when we got on set and I was just like, this looks like a million dollar comedy. I mean, that's a lot of money to me, maybe even multi-million dollar comedy. There you go. But I, I couldn't, I was like, this looks like a studio comedy. Yeah. And, and these were, you know, this was her first feature. It was a lot of really talented people taking their shot uh, to show up and say, I can do this. And they really could. And, and I want to compliment you, your cast and everyone on the music in this, because the music is, is, makes the scene you know it just underlines everything and it's so great to hear scores like that yes uh matt freeman did an incredible yeah. job he did our scoring and then the songs that were licensed um i learned how to be a music supervisor on this shoot wait and... no i'm jumping in. no i'm parachuting into this <laughs> matt freeman matt freeman is an amazing composer he's become a really good friend i love him grant mcfadden our, our editor and kestrin put a lot of music in we watched the movie with those songs in it. And then we were like, well, we probably can't afford those songs. Then Brit went and contacted all of those managers, all of those artists, all of those people and got all of that music. Brit actually knows how to license music for a movie now. I don't think she ever wants to do it ever again <laughs> moving forward. Yeah, but you know, but Brit, that's a Brit taught herself how to do that. And Brit did, Brit did that. That was all on Brit. Britt, are you going to direct? I'd like to. I would like to. And part of this process and part of wanting Kestrin to direct this movie is I really wanted to be around a director I wanted to learn from. And I know Michael felt the same way. And we saw Kestrin's film at South by Southwest from the year before and we're very impressed. And we thought she had an incredible spirit. And also she did the same thing we were doing. She raised the money. She got it done. Like we were like, all right, this is a get your hands dirty kind of set. And she seemed very into that. So I like gathering things, you know, absorbing and trying to expand to the next place and, and surrounding myself with people who know how to do things that I don't know how to do. So I hope that I get to the place where I'm ready to take that next leap of faith. Well, Kestrin, you know, has acted as well. So being an yes. actress and then going into directing must help in just, you know, understanding the actors. Unbelievable. She was so incredible. And something that, that Michael brings up a lot is that she started off by saying to the actors, you are the expert on your character. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know them better than we do. And we will keep an eye on the cohesive structure of the entire story, but you are the specialist. And that was very honored on this set. And we always shot a really clean take of exactly how it was written, exactly what we might need. And then she let us riff. And to have that kind of faith from a director is incredible. And also not to be on a set where you do have, not to throw anyone under the bus, but like a ton of network heads or studio heads who keep coming in and messing with everything by giving notes when they aren't even there and they don't even know what's happening. And that really is the beauty of the indie film is that you can to make those decisions in real time as you're processing from a creative place, which is really wonderful. Well, I want to thank you both for just being here today. I'm getting the uh, the nervous rap from uh, IFC. <laughs> By the way, they're brilliant and funny people. I love IFC. Yes. Uh, Same. We, we do too. They're, they're, they're a good family. 
if, if, I'll, I'll, if I may, just just what Britt just said. Um, yeah. What I loved about working with Kestrin specifically on set was she grabbed me, I think day one, two of shooting when it was just Britt and I before the rest of the uh, cast came up. And she went, hey, I've shot myself in a movie I've written before. You have to just do your job right now. Like stop tying other people's shoes. Stop thinking about how people are saying your lines. Just like be your character. Be Jack. Just be Jack. Let me handle the rest of it. And um, that was mind blowing for me because I was absolutely tying everyone's shoes and watching everyone else say my lines. And I, I, uh, she just as as an actor and director, it was so helpful for me. Well, again, you you did outstanding in this. I mean, uh, there's there's no one person other than Brit who's really you know uh, a national treasure. Uh, <laughs> you guys. To point out and say, wow, this is a breakout thing because it's a wonderful ensemble piece as well. It seems to me like theater, you know, in, in that way. But anyway, I got to go because they're going to get so mad at me. Um, Tony, thank you. Well, I'm going to reach Tony, out. You, te- you, te- you text me, you DM me anytime you want to talk. We, we, we're on social media, you, and yeah. uh, we'll sit, do a half hour. The three of us can, love it. can have our own text it. thread. It'll be fun. Guys, yes. take care. Thank you, care, Tony. Much.